Gates closed up. Here seven, we go. Seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Winner of this fight will have to go on to face Black Adder in round six of the loser's bracket. Similar mobility out of both these bots right now, but that weapon on Underbite is intense. Yeah, this is gonna come down to a battle of the fork and the wedge. We'll see, it looks like Underbite might have a, a problem with their weapon right now. Never yeah, mind. they threw a belt. But I've the been other throwing from time to time. They threw a belt, but the other belt seems to be fully functional. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they have the same philosophy that I do when attending a wedding. Wedding, bring, bring a backup belt. Always bring the backup belt, yes. You never know what they're gonna have at that reception. Plus, you know, when you do shout out on the dance floor, it's gonna mess up your clothes. Uh, every single not, time. Every single time. Every single time. Ooh, so this is getting... interesting. Underbite just kind of waiting for Jackrabbit to get back into where it's supposed to be. Had a perfect opportunity to strike, but they, they were playing it nice. They were playing it nice. Playing it safe and playing it nice. Kind of both things at this point in the tournament. You know, every time you dish out a massive hit, you're taking a bunch of that energy back into your own chassis as well. That's true. Makes sense to save those hits for when you need them, especially this late in the game. Absolutely. Later we get, you know, uh, into the into the day, it's it, it becomes that war of attrition. Yeah, and it's those teams that have all of the spare parts and a full night of sleep the night before <laughs> that tend to do a lot better. Let's face it, uh, no team gets a full night of sleep the night before. How about some of them do? Underbite grinding away at the top armor there of Jackrabbit. Just been spending uh, some time inverted here. Ooh. Oh, Jackrabbit really getting stuck in that position. Their drive seems really sluggish in this fight for some reason. 25 seconds left in this match. Don't know what Jackrabbit's gonna really be able to do. And they are very stuck in that position. At this point, this is the moment where a show motion would have to be called for it to be relevant. We'll see. Oh, but they're back on your wheels. Last 10, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's the end of this fight. Weapons off. Take yourself to the door. And this one goes to the judges. All right, good to see you guys. Andrew, let's go ahead and start with you. What were your thoughts on that fight? Yeah, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, Jackrabbit was in a compromised position for you know, some parts of the fight. Underbite, you know, pulled back some punches and could have gone for some kill shots they didn't take. But yeah, um, yeah, I think Underbite on this one all the way. All right, fair enough. Don, what are you thinking? Uh, it's an extremely dominant performance of Bayon. Yeah. So, yeah. Fair enough. And then uh, Jack. Yeah, I'm also going to go for Underbite. They were just dominant throughout the fight and very nearly tore the drive out of Jackrabbit. That's very true. All right, so there we go. Underbite, your winner for that fight. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. And we'll move on to the next round if we uh, have bots loaded into the box, which I'm not sure if we do. Now it looks okay. like we're loading up uh, Nicholas Cage 2. Cage 1. We're loading out of Cage 2. Loading out of Cage 2. 